Welcome to the world's first black nerd empowerment podcast, The Swarthy Nerd, with the boy, the TV guru. And you can snowman. And we're back another week to talk to you guys and girls about our topic. If this is your first time listening to us, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Swarthy Nerd. You can also find us on YouTube at Swarthy Nerd. Like, share, subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers so we can go live um, off our phones. Um, we also are on all streaming platforms like Spotify, iTunes, iHeartRadio, basically anything you can possibly think of we're on. Um, you can download our episodes at SwordNerd.com. You can also look at, at the description. You'll see all the things we talk about. So let's start off with high fantasy and low fantasy. Um, what is high fantasy and low fantasy, um, Yuki? High fantasy and low fantasy is pretty much the two main, uh, well, not some genre, but like two main focus is fantasy. So high fantasy, like, you know, pretty much a world where everything's made up. So there's no connection to the real world. So like Lord of the, Lord of the Rings. Well, Lord of the Rings is more low fantasy because it's like made with Europe. Yeah, but you can call it high fantasy because it does have yeah, like, like orcs, elves, orcs, elves, you know, it's super, super yeah. like, like it, it's it's more it's more of a un, like almost like universe they like yeah. created. It, it, you might might think it's you can't really say low fantasy it has no like modern things in there. What like it, it's no cell phones, Lord of Rings. No, no. <laughs> um, you uh, so basically high fantasy would be like Lord of Rings, like a broad example. Yeah, and uh, low fantasy is like uh like a Harry Potter, because um, Harry Potter has cars and I never seen a cell phone in Harry Potter. That's weird. Um, <laughs> but I guess because it's based in like the mid to late nineties, early two thousands. But um yeah, it's never seen. I never. Seen, I don't know think about it. It's never been a cell phone Harry Potter. <laughs> um, obviously all these cars and shit and um, but yeah, it's still based in the real world, low fantasy like uh like a Harry Potter. Like it's still based in our world. It's just you know, you know, somewhere else <laughs> in our <laughs> world. Uh, you can also like say like Chronicles of Narnia. Um, another high fantasy is um I can't really think of another like real high high fantasy outside of Lord of the Rings. Star um, Trek. Um, I don't know. They have a list right here. I can look well, Star Trek is more... That's more future-based. Yeah, future-based fantasy. And that will be like um, low fantasy, I guess. Yeah. Um, uh, but I can read the, uh, like, uh, the description real quick. High fantasy or epic fantasy is a subgenre of fantasy defined as epic nature for its settings or by the epic stature of its characters, themes, or plot. The term high fantasy was coined by Lloyd Alexander in a 1971 essay, High Fantasy, A Heroic Romance, which was originally given in New England Roundtable of the Children's Librarian, Librarians in October 1969. Um, uh, on a side note, I didn't know it was like, it's like a real, like, it's a council of like librarians. It's like, it's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a real thing. Like being librarians, like, like we make fun of that shit, <laughs> but like for real, that is like a real, like, it's like, I don't know, a secret society, but a society of people, like, like that is very interesting. I would love to talk to a librarian, mm-hmm. like a, a librarian who's been like thirty years, because it's like certain knowledge you can get from being a librarian. Like it's what it's accessing ways into getting. Th- I think it's a TV show about that too, about like a librarian who can, like, he got secrets and find secrets and shit. Um, but yeah. Anyway, low fantasy or intrusion fantasy is a subgenre of fantasy fiction in which magical events intrude on a otherwise normal world. The term thus contrasts with high fantasy stories, which take place in fictional worlds that um, that have their own seats of rules and physical laws. Intrusion fantasy places less emphasis on elements typical associated with fantasy, and it set a narrative in a realistic um, environment and elements of fantastical. Sometimes there are just enough fantastical elements to make a, make ambiguous the boundary between what is real and what is purely psychological or supernatural. Um, as soon as I saw, saw that, I thought Higurashi. <laughs> <laughs> um, the word low refers to a prominence of traditional fantasy elements within a work and is not remarked on on the work's overall quality. An alternative definition common in role-playing games rests on the story and characters being more realistic than less mythic in scope. Thus, some works like Robert E. Harris' Conan the Barbarian series can be high fantasy, according to first definition, but low fantasy, according to the second. With other works, such as the TV series Supernatural, the opposite is true. Um, so I guess we can talk about, like, um, what, 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 what do you like? Do you like high or low fantasy? Huh. It's kind of hard, because I do like both, but mm-hmm. I used to more so consume low 
fancy media, so like Higurashi, mm-hmm. Yumineko. Well, Yumineko uses uh, some of them as a high fantasy, mm-hmm. like vicious visitors, mm-hmm. demons. Mm-hmm. So I say I like the mixture of both. But but it's not an epic though. Is that an epic? Higurashi and Yumineko? No. Yeah, okay. yeah so it's not so. really like high. I would say it's low fantasy. Yeah, low fantasy. It's gotta be low fantasy. High fantasy has gotta be like major stakes, like world ending. You know, like like Lord of Rings. Like if you yeah. don't destroy this ring, this nigga's gonna take off everything. <laughs> you know, everyone has grand journeys they have to do. This one is a forgotten king. This one has to destroy the ring. This one has to, uh, you know, overcome a hardship or some shit. <laughs> I also make one is Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy, um, low fantasy. Um, hmm, that's a good question. Um, no, no. You said Final Fantasy and Fire Emblem. Yeah, no, they would probably be like. I think they're more fantasy because we're gonna fantasy. I think they're just regular fantasy. Um, yeah, what, is, what, right, what is what is regular fantasy? Yeah, look, like, I'm gonna look it up. Because you can't say you can't say regular fantasy by saying no. Why even say regular fantasy? Because see, and this it's so it, much. It's like it's so much. So it's genre of fantasy. Yes, yes. like historic, like historic fantasy. Okay. Or yeah, that's what I say. This, this topic is real um, hard to you know even grasp. Even even the stuff me and Yuki was reading. Um, they really was like, it's actually really hard to even describe what high and low fantasy truly is because it's so, like you just said, so many different things, layers within a, a, a mm-hmm. thing. Um, but this is what fantasy is. They say, fantasy is a genre of spect- spect- uh, speculative fiction set in a fictional universe, often inspired by real-world myth and folklore. Its roots are oral tradition, which then became fantasy literature and drama. From the 20th century, it was expanded further into various media, including film, television, graphic novels, manga, animated movies, and video games. The fantasy is distinguished by its genres of science fiction and horror, by the respective absence of scientific or macabre, 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 macabre themes. I think it's macabre themes, though these genres overlap. In, in, in popular culture, the fantasy genre pr- predominantly features settings of a medieval nature. In the broadest sense, however, fantasy consists of works of many writers, artists, filmmakers, and musicians, and ancient myths and legends, to many recent works popular. Um, but yeah. So that that's even more confusing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I guess me personally, I I do like uh, the low fantasy. I'm always a low fantasy guy. I always like I like stuff grounded in like realism a little bit. Um, the high fantasy stuff I really couldn't get into as a kid. Um, you could say like I like Dragon Ball shit like that, but it's still sort of low fantasy because it's still like you know reference Earth, Earth, and yeah, American right. Japanese culture, right. Chinese culture as well. So it's not really high high fantasy. Cause they, everything ain't everything made up. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like cars and phones and computers, right. right? You know, technology. Yeah, you know. I think they referenced Hitler one time. Yeah. <laughs> that Zombie is not Hitler. fantasy. <laughs> uh, uh, you were saying with uh, Trunks and Gohan, like Tr- Gohan, Trunks and Goten, turns to say, and uh, Hitler was like, Super Aliens. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The massive race well, could have like the Super Android 13 um, uh, movie. Yeah, that was, that was like, like Redneck. Oh, was that? Oh, the Bio Bro. No, that was um, uh, the Future Reborn movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember that shit. But yeah, um, I always liked the low fantasy. Um, all the, all the TV shows and movies I watched, um, I really liked that. Um, Lord of Rings is what really changed me because I like I didn't give a fuck about orgs or orcs or elves or witches, none of that shit. But Lord of the Rings got me. Um, when it first came out in like uh, theaters and shit, I I devoured those movies. I love those movies like a motherfucker. Um, the music, the acting, I love those movies. Those movies really opened that whole genre up for me where I could watch. So I, I could play things like Elder Scrolls because I, I played Elder Scrolls on Morrowind on Xbox. I know it's a horrible version. But I played that on Xbox. Um, I really couldn't. Just, I couldn't get into it because it was just so high fantasy. Like I just couldn't. But after playing Lord of the Rings, like oh shit, I want to play these games. So I played like the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, which is super high fucking fantasy. Um, Fable. Uh, oh yeah, I played Fable. Fable was great too. I played that uh, probably because of that. But I, Fable was awesome because like it was one of the first games that let you like be good or bad doing a storyline and stuff like that. Fable was awesome. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say low fantasy all day, all goddamn day. Um, like I, the 
first thing I think of is um the Radada. Um I still I tell people, man, that show is grounded as fuck. If you just take out the Dulahan and the goddamn sword that turned people crazy. <laughs> you fucking um take that out, this show is grounded as fuck. Like for real. Like um that's I, that's, that's why a lot of people probably can't get into a lot of um anime nowadays. It's all grounded. They need a little bit of that fantasy shit just to get them in. Um, I think that it is the way. Um, my TV show I'm making is exactly like that. It's so fucking grounded, but has slight elements of uh, fantasy in it. Like I think it's gonna blow people's minds. Um, but you mostly only see it in like what, like they say, like horror. And stuff like that, like horror realized that, like, damn, we can't just we don't have to do like unstoppable killing machines. We can do like psychological shit. We can just do grounded stories that's scary, like a uh, like what Jordan Peele is doing right now in his movies and shit. Uh, what what's some what's some some of the things you did you 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 don't like about high fantasy? Like I say, it's like it's not grounded. Mm-hmm. It's too fancy. Like mm-hmm. like I think some levels of realism. And ground it and ground in nature when I watch my fancy stuff. Mm-hmm. But it's like I, I like I ain't gonna guess it, but it's like it's not my cup of tea, mm-hmm. honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um I can get into it now. Back then I, I felt the same way. Um it just uh now I'm like, okay, I could be, get like I sort of like appreciate someone who would try to make a universe and yeah. a world um that's different. Like a um What's the damn thing called? Shit. Uh, fuck, I forgot what it was called. Damn, I forgot what it was called. Jupiter Ascending. Like, Jupiter Ascending. Like, that movie. Um, that movie would, like, try something different. Uh, the Fifth Element. Like, movies like that that try to do, like, a different universe world type of thing. Um, that's why I, like, fuck with. When, like, I, I wish more black people would make, like, high fantasy um, I think that's the one genre like we don't see black people getting into for it. It's high fantasy. I just don't understand. Yeah, because no, these high fantasy motherfuckers love putting white people in their shit. Right. And like, they'll like other races. Like it's yeah, got to be a British oops. white person. That's how you know it's a uh, high fantasy. <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> has to be. It got to be super English and fucking high. It's high fantasy. But the English tight shit. Yeah. Right. Um. But I, man, Yuki was talking last uh, last week, and I was like, you know what? I actually was wrong. I shouldn't be knocking power. Pop's actually doing something that most black people should be doing, making their own universe. What's wrong with making Power Book 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? If they had got some, this, this shit plotted out, planned up, let them build this universe. This branch this shit out. I mean, shit, Tyler Perry ain't doing it. Nope. Fucking who else um, making movies? Um, All these black directors, all these black movie directors who make movies, they're not doing nothing like this. I think we should give them props. It's it's very high fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it seems like all these black TV shows are going into fantasy. It seems like we can't even get a real story without uh, fantasy within it. Like uh, um, that sort of pissed me off about Lovecraft Country. Like you can do they talk about real shit about black issues, but you putting fantasy in it instead of just you know keeping the shit one hundred. Like that's for all our like black like. Sh- stuff like now now we can talk about racism but it has to be in a fantasy and um element like a get out or like a um what's another um movie i can't think of another one but that's why a lot of people didn't like judas and black messiah because that was real people it wasn't no fantasy based element within it you know it was real people doing real shit and that's what's wrong with a, a lot of these like movie like tv show movie directors and shit like they just don't want to make Cool, high fantasy shit, their own universe shit. We get with power about fake drug, fantasy drug dealings in a fictitious world where COVID don't exist. <laughs> uh, that's how you know. Um, most of these people, they they really don't, they really don't give a shit. They just want to have black faces on some shit, and all black people will watch it. I think that's the downfall of us. We keep watching things that just have black faces on instead of looking behind who's writing and directing this shit and seeing if they have our best interest in it. Like the shot, the shot was like a grounded TV show, and now it just went full blown fantasy, making a drug dealer and turn into a mayor. Yeah, power is doing it, but I've acknowledged power is a fantasy. <laughs> shit, the book, they don't acknowledge shit in that damn show, and that's what the shot's doing right now. They're just making up shit, like making fictitious shit. Like they did a whole season with a young black girl being kidnapped, and instead of like talking about real issues about black people. 
um, you know, about, you know, because it is a real thing going on right now. Young black girls be coming missing. Ch- black children are coming mm-hmm. to missing all over the country. Yes, ch- all children in general, but we're talking about black children. It's a major, major lot more. And instead of talking about that, talking about sex trafficking, all that shit, organ harvesting, all that, she just showed just some crazy black person kidnapped her and raped her. Wow. That's your writing. You can actually talk about our major issues going on in this country, and instead you just make it into some crazy nigga. It's like, it, this actually is an, um, another part of this episode. is like, sort of shame, shame on these black directors and TV show creators. Because, like, y'all can do more with the content y'all have. And instead of actually taking a risk like a Kurt Sutter, taking a fucking risk, saying, fuck it, I'll risk my entire universe because he created his own universe too with sons of anarchy it's a whole universe now like he risked all that to buck the system that was taking over the hit the, the, the company and y'all niggas can't even do that this nigga 50 cent sitting here being cool with a dude who sexually assaulted the the president of stars um he like sexually assaulted a couple of women and shit but 50 cent is buddy buddy with the nigga high five the guy i'm like oh okay i guess you don't want to call him out you can instead of like making a plot and power of a white, crazy white supremacist raping women and shit. You know he he could have yeah. done some subtle those shots at the dude, but instead you you friends with him because he didn't want to give you your paper. You know with Stars Network because he made a deal to make all these TV shows and shit. It just it's just a damn shame that black people we don't use our shit in a, like a positive light. Just like um I told you like um. Like well, I think it was last year, but Blackish, how Blackish um had an episode talking about um the kneeling stuff in the NFL. Man, it's gonna be like a fantasy. It's gonna be like fantasy. Yeah, sort of. He's gonna, it's gonna <laughs> be like a fantasy episode where he's telling like a, like a bedtime story to his kid, and he's gonna explain kneeling shit. But ABC said you can't air that shit. So he didn't air it. And literally for that same year, the dude who created the show, he left the net. He left. He cut his the contract and went to Netflix to make TV shows for them. And I was like, see, right there, you spent your entire career working on this damn show, and these motherfuckers still denying you when you could have been dropping real shit the whole time. You making some repetitive-ass TV show where a black man worked for a racist white guy who say racist shit all the time. Like, that, it's such a shame for all these black shows. I, I really, I need to do like a, uh, a uh, on my YouTube channel, do something like, um, just talking about every single one of these black shows and telling you how it's just wrong. <laughs> Like it's all these black. I have, I have not seen a single one hundred black show yet since like Aaron Magruder, um, the creator of Boondocks. Last show was like Black Jesus season three. That's on fucking Adult Swim gave giving black people more like uh, freedom to speak than any other motherfucking <laughs> like network. Ain't that some cartoon? A network. cartoon network. Sub uh, side channel. It's a channel within a channel is giving black people more speech than them. That's something. That's crazy to me, man. You don't see nothing, nothing great. All our shit, we got to be like some drug dealing ass motherfucker, which ain't nothing wrong with that because white people got shows like that all the time. We we knock and we and that's gonna say because even I said that about the BMF and all that shit. But then I look back at it like, but they get shows like that all the time. White people got drug dealing, crime family shows all over the fucking place. Why well, can't we have a bunch of drug dealing crime <laughs> family shows? Crazy. We have the lovey dovey comedies. We have the bullshit sitcoms. We have the bull stuff, hour long dramas. Well, not really. Um, but we, we got all that shit. Why can't we fucking, you know, get our, our own Sopranos, Breaking Bad, all that shit? Why can't we get all that? I'm not saying we're going to not copy them. I'm just saying we can, we can have that shit. I know it looks bad because, like, how the white media pushed it, you know. We all be drug dealing looking motherfuckers, but we don't we don't have to fall for that shit. And that's why most of the drug dealing shit is a fantasy shit. <laughs> for real. But that that's what me personally how I feel about the the black creators and shit when it comes to just making like cause all this T V shit is fantasy. All this T V shit is fantasy. But I just wish they would take this fantasy and take it to another level. I wish we can have like where is our black supernatural show? Oh, Lovecraft Country with the show about the the man being almost bug broken and can't even fight for real. So the the light skinned girl she does all the heavy lifting of the show, and the fucking his dad is really a fag. 
Uh, sorry, I, I can't be saying Bono that. sticks. Yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> we we got to cut back on our curse and all that shit. Um, yeah, he's gay, and freaking, you got the the sister of the light skinned girl. She wanted to, she want to be a white woman for real, so she takes magic to turn herself white. So now they pull in a fucking um, what is called uh, <laughs> transgender thing. Um, transracial transracial thing they doing it right now my tv show i watch it's called c um oh, I, I knew they was gonna do that shit but anyway like it's just boy our shit gotta be a gender riddled and all that shit it can't even be black first in your tv shows it's actually sad couple of this extra gender shit <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's just ridiculous. can't be black you gotta be a tranny Man. i mean a transsexual sorry no, we can't be cussing and say mean things about people. <laughs> you know, they say mean things about us, so. though. Um, but, yeah. It's just. Um, but, yeah, back to high and low fantasy. Uh, it's just. I just wish black people made more more high and low fantasy. We just don't see it anymore. We will we'll get it being like a writer on a TV show. But I just wish one person. I guess that got to be me. <laughs> to make this high low fantasy stuff cuz it's a damn shame that we have these movie directors who got get budgets and the first thing they think of is making a rom-com <laughs> <laughs> like jeez you just trying to get black women to watch it what about black men black boys young kids like it should be a whole bunch of black people making black animated stuff why do it why why does it have to take independent people to do this stuff when the people at the top can do it themselves like why 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 did it take um Jay Z and a whole bunch of other uh, people to put money together and make a movie about black cowboys doing shit. The fuck, even though it took Quentin Tarantino like one time to do it, you only need this one black dude to be a badass cowboy. You know, and he's a slave, but still, the whole point is like it took a fucking white dude to give you a badass slave movie. That's sad. Like, why does it take outsiders of a race to make our race look good? Right. Like fucking, ain't um, that something? Black the um, rest, the black wrestling manga I read this past summer, written by right, not like an Asian dude, about a box former, about a boxer who's a former slave trying to free his people. Mm-hmm. It took an Asian motherfucker to make a manga like that in the nineties, and he's inspiring black people yeah. to like that rise up. Uh, he, he like no, he insp- he like he making things that. That's gonna inspire black nerds to make shit, but they ain't gonna make shit about no. black people. They're gonna make shit about Japanese culture. <laughs> uh, you ain't even seeing the difference. They not even seeing the correlation between it. Uh, that's how much power we got as black people. Like we, we, we inspire other races to make story by us rising up, but we can't do the same. The fuck? Like it's that, that's that's sad and pathetic, for real. And I guess it is gonna have to be up to me and you to do some shit to yeah. show these motherfuckers that oh shit, we could do us unapologetically unapologetically black shit and and. People won't be upset because this is a damn shame that y'all are scared to talk about black issues, but y'all love like this stuff acknowledging black stuff. Like, oh man, I love Shamash Shamash. So they really acknowledge hip hop in that. Yeah, Could've so that means you though. should make some shit that inspires, you know, black people as well. <laughs> the fuck? Don't just say, it. see, see, everybody like our shit. Because they like your shit, I don't mean like you. Yeah. The like fuck, you. man, make your own shit. The fuck? This high fantasy yeah. shit is a a perfect place for a black person to make some shit. You can make a whole type of crazy fantasy shit, but you only want to do that. If you want to do the Jordan Peele shit and do some like racism stuff within like fantasy, do it. But y'all don't even want to do that because y'all scared. Because Jordan Peele did get some slack for it. Or you can do some low fantasy shit. Do some shit like um, like a black Jesus. <laughs> shoot, where Jesus comes back and he's black and he gets he's treated like he gets treated like a black man and <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. Season three is all about him getting out the crazy house because fucking white people didn't believe he was Jesus. And they sent the people some some people um in the Vatican at the black Jesus and they motherfucker should have run up on him. But he actually is Jesus. He did a miracle in front of their ass and they got scared. And the Pope was like, What the fuck? He real? <laughs> 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 like, yeah, I don't know why these people keep trying me. Yeah, like it, that's just insane to me. It takes one person like Aaron McGrew to do it. Like he trying to make a TV show on Amazon. I don't know if it's still going through about what the black people got the reparations like back in the day and how would we look today. Like you know when slavery ended, and they promised us all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but what if we actually did get it? Like he making a, a that's a, that's a, that's a high fantasy right there. Shit, that's what I'm talking about. He gonna actually show some shit. 
these white people, boy. I mean, these niggas, boy. It just, it just kills me. So, what is your favorite parts of a uh, low fantasy? Low fantasy. Yeah. Like I was gonna say already, like it's Woody and grind. It's Woody and realism. Mm-hmm. I do like how they do mix supernatural fantasy stuff with real life stuff. Mm-hmm. Even with, like Snatch, it does make it like more creative. Mm-hmm. And it's this way of, like sh- showing you how they can mix, you know, like supernatural elements with real life t- uh, elements. It makes you more related to yeah, it than like, um, high fantasy, like Mortal Kombat. Like yeah. that's that's low fantasy that has realism, but mixing with like the mystical stuff. So like the robots, like cyborgs, but they came, f- but they also were um, designed with. Um, show long, not show long, but like Chinese magic and shit like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that that's pretty much my mine too. I really like that that part of like low fantasy. Um, it's just nine days like uh like fantasy is damn right every day, goddamn thing. Yeah, it seemed like when it comes to like uh like these movies, um, which we're gonna talk about like in our B side later this week. Yeah, like Green Knight, like Green Knight. What well, is Green Knight? Low fantasy, high fantasy. Cause green light, cause um the cold camera light thing was a real thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know because most of these fucking European stories are fucking made up, like uh, fucking um King Arthur and all yeah. that shit. But they make you think it's real. If I was a King Arthur, but you know he wasn't probably wasn't doing all this extra shit, like pulling the sword out of goddamn yeah. stone and all this other shit. But and the Moors, you know, he got he right now some fucking Moors. It's reason why King Arthur. His crew was popping in the first place. Yeah, that's most of Europe was popping because of that shit. That's why you don't see. That's what's so crazy. You don't see stories about Moors for real. Yeah, like you, you might hear like if you watch like old movies and shit, they might say like this one black character is a war because um like the Robin Hood story is about like how Robin Hood learns all this shit from a Moor. A Moor teaches him all this shit, and he becomes like a you know a, a, a thief for the rich. I mean, steal from rich, give to the poor type shit. Um, it's the cl- classic Robin Hood uh, movie back back in the day. Uh, with uh, I think Morgan Freeman plays the more. Um, but yeah, yeah, we don't even see that. Like uh, you would think you'll see a shit ton of more, sh- like high fantasy shit. You don't even see that. Huh. Ain't that something? Jesus Christ, it's so many lost like people are. It, I'm just, I still I still gotta give a shame shame to black directors and writers, man. Like for real, like you should be having some high fantasy shit, and y'all don't. Um, I'm hoping because Donald Glover, he did, he dropped like something on Instagram. He deleted, he deletes all this shit. I love that shit. <laughs> like he posts shit and then deletes it, and not because he's embarrassed. Because like, no, you don't get that. You don't. You ain't see it when I dropped it. You don't get to see it. But um, he dropped some shit. Talking about how he working on three movies. It's gonna be like an epic tale. I'm like, ooh, could this be what we've been talking about? Because <laughs> man. If anybody can do it, I think he can do it. For real. Give us that yep. damn high fantasy epic because he say he's he working on them right now. Shit, three movies. Um, so I can't wait. Hopefully it's great. Hopefully it's not um a power, a drug dealing trilogy. <laughs> 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 but I doubt it. I will hope it's high fantasy. High fantasy be. power. <laughs> you know, for real. I'm going to orcs, sons of dope, so elves. Right, right. For, <laughs> hey, that actually would be dope. That actually would be really dope. That reality sounds really cool, man. I would not be surprised. Like, uh, if it's some shit like that, like <laughs> drug dealing in um high fantasy world, nigga, shit, that'd be dope as fuck. Actually, would be really dope. They really would. Just a cute elf girl doing some lots of blow. <laughs> right. <sighs> shit, lick my third tit. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, but yeah. Um. So, the conclusion to this is: what is better? Um, whatever you like. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Like, like it's a real. preference. A lot of people keep saying like we don't have a conclusion, we just go. Yeah. But I'm like, we don't we're not here to give y'all how to think. We just try to put out um fuck that you fight never heard before. And That's all. you listen in, it's up to you to decide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you think. <laughs> shit. If we wrong, shit, email us at swordnergmail dot com. But for me personally, I fuck with that low fantasy and high fantasy. I like both. But it's not that much high fantasy out there, but even when you talk about the definitions of high and low fantasy, like, it's like right now, like you can't really even define what high and low fantasy even is for real, for real. It's different parts of it because you can say, um, like I said, you can, you can say Harry Potter is high fantasy if you want to, <laughs> shit, but it's all just, you know, 
relative. But but really what like sparked us up to even do this episode was um just the whole low fantasy thing. I've mm. never heard of that term. Never I've always heard of high fantasy, but I've never heard of low fantasy. Um and I thought like, oh, that's what I like. <laughs> shit. It's low fantasy. Uh because most of the dopest shit is low fantasy. I mean, high fantasy shit, most people can't get into Lord of the Rings. No. Yeah, for real. Most people can't get into Elder Scrolls or... Nadia. Yeah, you know, right. We, but most people can't really get into that stuff. Well, some people can't get into Narnia because it's real kids going into a different world. Yeah. But so so Narnia is on Esekai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard the first one. <laughs> 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 Shit. For real. But um, where can they find you? You can find me on my website at youcanthesnowman.com. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash youcanthesnowman on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. You can find me at youcanthesnowman314. You can find me at Super Lost Fan One Way on Twitter. I'm also on YouTube at the TV Guru One Hundred Eight. I'm also on Instagram at TV Guru. Um, you can find any of our stuff at Swinger.com. We see you guys and gals Saturday later. <laughs>